Wellness for Life is brought to you by Purim Physical Therapy, Gottenberg Chiropractic Clinic, Mojave Ottawa Community Action Partnership, CHI St. Joseph's Health Weight Management Center, and Natural Alternatives. Hello, I'm Matthew Koffenberg, physical therapist and owner of Perm Physical Therapy. Today we are going to talk about the spine and more specifically we're going to talk about an anatomical structure of the spine that can create all sorts of problems and that is the intervertebral disc. So what is the disc? We hear about the disc a lot. What exactly is the disc? Well the disc is a structure that sits in between each of the bones of the spine. The bones of the spine are called vertebra. We have several vertebra. In between each of those vertebra we have this disc. Um, the disc's job is to act as a shock absorber. Uh, it allows us to run and jump and play because it allows the spine to spring and it allows it to recoil because we have this nice shock absorption of the disc. If we didn't have a disc, our bone would be sitting right on top of the bone and that would be incredibly painful and it would not be very functional. So our disc is incredibly important to allow um, movement and function. When you think of the disc, I want you to think of the disc itself as kind of like a jelly donut. Uh, it's got this doughy outer surface with some fluid on the inside. The disc itself has a lot of fluid. Uh, it's made up mostly of fluid and then again it's got this doughier outside of it. So the, the outside of the disc uh, is called the annulus. That outer part of the disc protects the fluid on the inside of the disc which is called our nucleus. The nucleus is the fluid, the annulus protects the nucleus. And again, the disc sits in between each one of our vertebra. So here I'm depicting L3 which means the lumbar spine number three vertebra and then the fourth vertebra and the fifth vertebra. We've got a disc that sits in between each one of those. So what can go wrong with the disc? There's mainly three things that can go wrong with the disc. You can get a disc bulge, you can get a disc herniation, and thirdly you can end up with what's called disc degeneration. So what's a disc bulge? So if we look at our picture here, we've got lumbar level vertebra number four, lumbar level vertebra number five with the disc in the middle of it. A disc bulge, basically what that means is it means the fluid has shifted to one side of the spine. It's maintained or it's maintained within the annulus. So the fluid stays inside, it's just all the fluid is now shifted to one side. That's called a bulge. Now if the bulge goes far enough, this green line, that depicts the nerve root. So if the bulge is big enough, it'll actually compress against that nerve root and you can end up with pain that goes down your leg. Most of the time the bulge does not compress the nerve root and we end up with just significant back pain. Because what happens when it bulges, you can see the disc in the normal setting, the disc is very level. In a bulge setting, it causes the spine to shift. And so you actually end up in a slightly shifted position and that becomes quite painful. The good news about a disc bulge, no surgery really is required. There are just very simple physical therapy exercises to help with a disc bulge. The second thing is a disc herniation. Now the disc herniation is when the fluid actually gets outside of the annulus. So the annulus actually tears and then the fluid seeps outside. When that fluid seeps outside of the annulus, it can then compress the nerve root and then you can get a ton of leg pain as a result of that. Now a disc herniation usually will require some sort of anti-inflammatory. Sometimes it's oral anti-inflammatories, other times you actually have to get an injection to get rid of that fluid that's on the outside. And then you would need to do some physical therapy to allow that annular tear to scar down and heal. The third thing that happens to the disc is called disc degeneration. Sometimes you'll hear it as degenerative disc disease. Um, that's a very scary term, but really it's not all that scary. What it means is that the disc actually starts to lose its fluid. It's a very natural process. All of us, that's going to happen to all of us. 
all of our discs are going to lose fluid. So this picture is, is, um, is showing us, it's depicting uh, a degenerative disc. So in, in the normal setting, you've got a nice thick disc with a lot of fluid. As time goes by, you lose the fluid, the disc basically thins out. And what happens is the bones get closer together. Sometimes it gets close enough where the bone bangs into the bone and then you end up with some pain. Again, therapy is very beneficial to help in a, in a degenerative disc state. You need to strengthen your muscles that attach to the spine. When you strengthen your muscles, it in essence tractions your spine and takes pressure off of the bones. Thank you very much. If you have any questions about anything related to the spine, uh, don't hesitate to give me a call, 346-2464. Thank you for watching Wellness for Life. Brought to you by Purim Physical Therapy, Gottenberg Chiropractic Clinic, Mojave Ottawa Community Action Partnership, CHI St. Joseph's Health Weight Management Center, and Natural Alternatives.